Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Nowadays, everyone's been buzzing about the Atal Setu, India's mega sea bridge project. But have you thought about its bigger impact? This isn't just about cutting commute times or avoiding traffic jams. It's about unlocking massive infrastructure development and boosting the GDP. Such infrastructure projects do pave the way for an economic boom in India. We are talking about job creation, boosted trade, and opportunities for investors like you and me. Infrastructure refers to the shared physical structures of a nation, industry, or area. Infrastructure includes things like transportation networks, communication networks, and utilities like water, gas, and electricity. Keep in mind that these systems are essential to the expansion, advancement, and success of a nation. These systems also have the characteristics of being capital intensive and high cost investments. The subject of road infrastructure in India is broad and intricate, involving both significant advancements and continuous difficulties. The amount of road traffic has grown over time as the nation's towns, cities and villages are more connected to one another. This vast network is essential for enabling travel for passengers as well as trade and commerce. Efficient road transport contributes to economic growth by lowering logistics costs, expanding market access, and boosting manufacturing and trade. Improved connectivity also enhances access to education, healthcare, and other essential services, especially in rural areas. So, buckle up. In today's video, we are going to ride through the growth potential and investment opportunities being offered by the Indian road and highways. Let us dive into India's road infrastructure. India has the second largest road network in the world, spanning a total of 6.3 million kilometers. This road network transports 64.5% of all goods in the countries and 90% of India's total passenger traffic uses the road network to commute. In India, the sale of automobiles and the movement of freight by road is growing rapidly. The government has made major strides in upgrading and expanding the road network. Constructing over 35,000 kilometers of four-lane or more highways since 2023. Highway construction in India increased at a growth rate of 17% between financial year 2016 and 2021. Despite the pandemic and lockdown, India has constructed 10,457 kilometers of highways in financial year 2022. India had a total of 97,830 km of national highways in 2014 and 15, which has expanded to 1,45,155 km by March 2023. While the overall length of roads is impressive, a significant portion remains unpaved or in poor conditions, impacting the safety and travel times. Maintenance and repair practices also require improvement to ensure long-term durability. Traffic congestion is a major concern in many cities, especially during peak hours. This leads to increased travel times, fuel consumption and air pollution. Road accidents are a rising issue in India, with high fatality rates attributed to factors like speeding, unsafe driving practices and inadequate road infrastructure. India's road infrastructure presents a mixed picture. While significant progress has been made, ongoing efforts are necessary to address quality, safety and congestion issues. Continued investment and technological adoption are crucial to ensure a robust and efficient road network that supports the country's economic and social development goals. Let us look at the government measures to improve road infrastructure in India. Under the Union Budget 2023-24, the Government of India has allocated Rs 2.7 lakh crore to the Ministry of Road, Transport and Highways. The Union Minister of State for Road, Transport and Highways has stated that the government aims to boost corporate investments in roads and in the shipping sector and introduce business-friendly strategies, which will balance profitability with effective project execution. In financial year 2024, the NHAI endeavours to come out with the third and fourth rounds of Infrastructure Investment Trust to raise over Rs 20,000 crore. The government has launched several initiatives to address the challenges including Bharat Mala Pariyojana, 
National Highways Development Project, which aims to develop a network of expressways and economic corridors. The Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana, focusing on rural road connectivity, as of June 2023, constructed a total of 7,37,230 km of road length. Integration of intelligent transportation systems, toll plazas and digital mapping is being explored to improve traffic management and safety. India's economy is growing rapidly and its infrastructure needs are vast. The government has committed to investing heavily in infrastructure development, including roads and highways. This could lead to a strong returns for investors. One may consider investing in Indian road infrastructure. However, there are some risks like political risk, regulatory risk, project execution risk, etc., which could impact the sector's performance and in a way affect investors. Mutual funds are an investment option that could help mitigate the overall risk that direct equities carry. Investing in a mutual fund scheme with high allocation to Indian road and highway stocks could assist investors in gaining exposure to the growth potential of road infrastructure in a risk averse manner. Number 1. Bandhan Infrastructure Fund This scheme invests predominantly in equity and equity related instruments of companies that are participating in and benefiting from growth in Indian infrastructure and infrastructural related activities. The scheme invests across market cap and as of December 2023, it holds 35.56% allocation in large caps, 19.92% in mid caps, and 44.22% in small caps. The scheme holds an AUM of Rs 882.02 crore and is benchmarked against the Nifty 50 index. Do note it has a higher allocation to small cap stocks, which are highly risky and sensitive to market fluctuations. Thus, investors may consider this suitability and invest only after analyzing a proven performance track record. Bandar Infrastructure Fund holds maximum exposure in stocks of PNC Infratech Limited, which is one of India's leading infrastructure development company. Expertise in constructing and managing highways, expressways, bridges, flyovers, airport runways, water supply systems and industrial areas. The scheme also holds significant exposure to HG Infra Engineering Limited and Engineers India Limited. Currently, the overall exposure to road and highway stocks accounts for 7.82% of the scheme's asset. Number 2. Quant Infrastructure Fund This scheme aims to generate capital appreciation and provide long-term growth opportunities by investing in a portfolio of infrastructure-focused companies. It currently holds an AUM of Rs 1,321.56 crores and is benchmarked against the Nifty 50 index. The scheme invests across market cap and as of December 2023, it holds 44.18% allocation in large cap stocks, 12.92 in mid cap and 30.37% in small cap stocks. Again, it has a high allocation to small cap stocks which investors need to consider before investing. Overall, the scheme holds road and highway stocks exposure of 6.29% in IRB Infrastructure Developers Limited, India's prominent integrated private sector developer of BOT, Build Operate Transfer, and Hybrid Annuity Model Road and Highway Projects. Number 3. Samco FlexiCap Fund Launched in February 2022, this scheme seeks to generate long-term capital growth from an actively managed portfolio of Indian and foreign equity instruments across market capitalization. As of December 2023, the fund has 29.81% in large caps, 35.66% in mid cap stocks and 20.57% in small cap stocks. However, since the scheme was launched recently, it has no long performance track record. Samco FlexiCap Fund has an overall allocation of 5.92% in LNT Technology Services Limited, which indeed has a presence in India's road infrastructure sector, not directly involved in construction or development projects, but it does provide digital engineering and technology solutions on a large scale to Indian road infrastructure projects. Number 4. DSP India Tiger Fund 
This scheme endeavors to generate capital appreciation from a portfolio that is substantially constituted of equity securities and equity related securities of corporates which could benefit from structural changes brought about by continuing liberalization in economic policies by the government or continue investment in infrastructure both by the public and private sector. The scheme currently holds an AUM of Rs 3,023 crore and is benchmarked against the Nifty 50 index. In terms of road and highway stocks, this scheme holds a major allocation of around 6.29% in IRB Infrastructure Developers Limited. The fund also has exposure to Engineers India Limited, PNC Infra Limited, KNR Constructions Limited and HNG Infra Engineering Limited. The scheme invests across market segments such as 34.02% in large cap stocks, 20.07% in mid cap stocks, 43.68% in small cap stocks. Do note it has a higher allocation to mid and small cap stocks which are highly risky and sensitive to market fluctuations. Investors may consider their suitability before investing. Number 5. Motilal Oswal Focused Fund this scheme aims to provide long-term capital appreciation by investing in large, mid and small cap stocks across market capitalization. Currently, the scheme holds an AUM of Rs 1,784.20 crore and is benchmarked against Nifty 500 index. The overall allocation to road and highway stocks is around 5.28% in l and Technology Services Limited. The scheme holds 51.17% in large caps 30.51% in mid caps and 15.98% in small cap stocks as of December 2023. Although sectoral and thematic mutual funds could be a good diversifier to your portfolio, it takes at least a few years to reach their potential. Investors may consider taking a plunge into these mutual funds only after thorough market research and assessing their suitability based on risk tolerance, investment horizon and goals. Now let us look at the outlook for Indian road infrastructure. India's economy is projected to grow steadily, fueling demand for efficient road infrastructure. The government has pledged USD 1.4 trillion for infrastructure development by 2025, with a significant portion earmarked for road and highways. The government through a series of initiatives is working on policies to attract significant investor interest. Integrating green technologies and promoting sustainable construction practices are becoming increasingly important in road infrastructure development. In 2024, India is gearing up for a major highway revolution as expressways are all set to transform how we travel. National highways and expressways now cover around 1,51,000 kilometers with plans to expand further. The government also aims to construct 23 new national highways by 2025. A total of 600 plus sites are planned to be awarded by 2024-25, of which 144 wayside amenities have already been awarded. In the next five years, the National Highway Authority of India NHAI, will be able to generate Rs 1 lakh crore annually from tolls and other sources. Overall, the outlook for Indian road infrastructure is promising. Continued government commitment, private sector participation and technological adoption are crucial for overcoming challenges and building a robust, efficient and sustainable road network that supports India's economy and social development goals. So, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up and share it. For more such guidance on financial planning, check out the related article and videos. If you are new here, make sure you subscribe to our channel for watching interest in investment related videos. Also, now we are available on WhatsApp. You can join our free WhatsApp channel for daily insight, market and mutual fund related information. All the links are in the description below. Signing off for now, happy investing. Please note that this video is for information purpose and does not constitute any kind of investment advice or a recommendation to buy, hold, sell a fund. Investment in securities market are subject to market risk. Read all the related documents carefully before investing.